So if you look at this, both those rear dualies are hanging off the edge there and then the tag too. It's not like the inner one's even on anything. And it's supposed to be sitting on wood blocks, but look, this block ain't even under there. It's loose. Um, it's not touching anything. It's wiggled this way out if it was under there, but uh, the other side's not touching either. So it's really just chained into position with those tires hanging over the edge. Uh, and it's like that on this side too, both, both sides of it. And not this way, different way. When I'm out there, oh no, he's there. I love this, he's here. And then we're gonna have a problem with, this trailer needs new wood. Huh? Your trailer is bad. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be a shit show. What? It's gonna be a shit show. All right, we definitely don't want to roll backwards at all. So we're gonna leave the front binder on and the front, the one that's holding it from rolling backwards, and we'll start to pull it forwards to get it up onto the trailer all the way. Cause one, one little slip there and it's gonna pop down. We don't want that. So we'll take these rear ones that are going backwards off, but the ones in the front not. Um, this tire, this is, this is bad with that broken like that. And there's a huge hole up front here too. Um, but the tire's got like a 90 degree bend right in the middle of it. Um, there's a steel beam across the bottom. That tire has been bent like that the whole time. It's not good for the belts in the tire, I'm sure. The bus isn't all the way aired up yet. The suspension's not all the way up. We're still only about 65 PSI in there right now. I'm waiting. I'm, I just did. Uh, just making tension? Okay. He's going to pull it off of his truck. That way there's no, if any damage happens, I'm not responsible for it. I don't you know, let him do it. Okay, release it. Release the brake. Set the brake. He wants you when you're going down the ramps to let it go slowly. So you're going to work the foot brake just a little bit to go slow, but it may not take off on you. Ready? Okay, release the brake. You're almost to the ramps. You're in that other hole now. So you have about three feet. Just give it a little tiny bit of brake so that it goes slow. Slow. Just don't pump it a lot because we don't have a lot of air. Just keep, if you keep even little pressure on it, it'll be good. 
Are you still above 60? Set the brake. Wait, wait for his signal. He'll give you the thumbs up. Okay, thumbs up. Slowly down the ramps. Don't pump it, just nice easy pressure. It's gonna come down hard in a second. The tire's almost halfway off this big block. Here you go, slow. There you go. Good. It's gonna come down again. Coming off the edge of that big block right now. Doing good. You should be able to just, unless it starts rolling towards this truck when the rear wheels get there. Oh, set your brake. Okay, release. Hit the tag, raise the tag.
I'm trying to pull it up the hill today. It's uh, very muddy out. It was supposed to be here yesterday. It would have been a problem. We're going to box it up the hill right now. Well, we did get the bus safely unloaded. Uh, it took us a little, just over an hour, about an hour and 15 minutes to get it done. No damage was done to it, so that's good, but it definitely was not the ideal situation. He was a day later and he's supposed to be here, so he came in on a Saturday, the Saturday before Christmas. Um, so we had to you know, work on a day that we didn't want to be doing that, but uh, we got it done and ended up raining the whole time, which was even worse. But I uh, hope you enjoy this next little video clip of a live performance of our uh, theme song and an extra special bonus song at the end. For you. Now, the guy that uh, that wrote Scott's theme song is here tonight, Mr. Tom Feller, and we're going to have him come around and sing that for you. He's a he's a wonderful writer. He got another song in it that you got to hear. It's a good one. Uh, but he, he wrote this song, and he was the one that that uh, got me got me uh, connected with Scott. He uh, he said, "Have you seen this guy work on these buses?" I said, "No." He said, "Man, go check this out." He said, "This guy knows what he's doing." And so I went and, went and checked out the videos, and I said, man, he does. He, I can tell when somebody's working on something, if they know what they're doing. They're just the way they work, I can tell. And so uh, I got in contact with Scott, and he's kept us on the road many, many a time, and I appreciate you so much. But we're going to have Tom come around and, and uh, have him sing this song. I know you're going to enjoy it. What do you call this song? It's actually called, uh, we call it the Bus Grease Monkey theme song. I guess. <laughs> and I, I'm going to give you a, I'm not making any excuses or anything, but... I've only sang this like twice since I recorded it two years ago. <laughs> so please bear with me if I sing words that you don't recognize. It's probably just because I don't know. So you'll make up some <laughs> I'm just making up as I go. I'm gonna try my best to get the right words, but I also had to rewrite this song three times because you know there was no such thing as a 40s. Pre yeah, pre-war, 40s. Uh, <laughs> so you know. You'll have that. But anyway, I'm going to try to get through this in uh, the best we can, and then uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so, all right, here, sit down.
I've got a little something I want to present to you. And this is my bolt of the bus. I was trying to keep this hidden. But this is the little plaque that I want you to put up in your shop if you want to. This is dedicated to you. It is a it is the golden album. We've now sold 25 copies. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain. 